Hello all, we are going to discuss a very important concept in computer networks, network topologies. There are four basic network topologies, mesh, star, bus and ring. A topology can be defined or specified as the geometric representation of how the devices are connected to each other. It is basically how a network is physically laid out how the devices are connected, either they are connected in the form of a mesh, star, bus or ring. We will study each topology in detail. The mesh topology, in mesh topology, the every device is connected to every other device using a dedicated point-to-point -point link. The word dedicated here means that the link carries data traffic only between the two stations it is connecting. If I want to know the number of uh, links, duplex links I need for connecting uh, five devices in a station, the formula would be n into n minus 1 by 2. Now, if we have five devices in, our, in the station, as you can see in this diagram, we have five devices in the station, in the network. So now, I, if I have five devices, the number of duplex links will be 5 into 5 minus 1 by 2. So that comes to 5 into 4 divided by 2 that is equals to 10 duplex links. It means that we will require 10 duplex links to connect 5 devices in a mesh topology. Now let us look at the advantages and disadvantages of mesh topology. As uh, the stations have a dedicated point to point link between as a as the stations have dedicated point-to-point -point link between the devices, there will be no traffic problems, there will be privacy and security, and it gives you high performance. As there is a point-to-point -point link between any two stations, the fault if there is a fault with any of the link, fault isolation will be easy. The system will be robust, meaning that if one link fails, it will not incapacitate the entire system. The disadvantages as such of mesh topology are it becomes very complex if the number of stations or the number of devices in the network increase. It will incur you high cost because the amount of cabling required for connecting one station with all the other stations in the network would become immense and the number of input output ports also uh, incurs lot of expense and cost for connecting the devices. Uh, due to the issue of one-to-one uh, -one, uh, connection between all the devices to all the other devices, we will have limited scalability. And also it gives you redundancy. And there will also be bandwidth issues because for uh, five stations, you have uh, 10 separate links and you cannot, uh, you will have a shortage of bandwidth. The best example of mesh topology will be the telephone regional offices where every re telephone regional office has to be connected with, the other, with every other regional office in the city. Now let us go to the star topology. The star topology will not have, in star topology we will not have a direct uh, dedicated link between each device to the other device. In turn, all the devices will have a point-to-point -point link to a central controller called a hub. Every station will make a connection to the central controller called as a hub. The stations are not directly connected. Whenever the station wants, one station wants to transmit data to the other station, it sends the data to the central controller, and this central controller will relay the data to the to the other connecting devices. You can see a star topology connecting four stations with a central controller, which we also call it as a hub. Now let us see the advantages and disadvantages of star topology. The advantages as the number of cabling required is less, so it is less expensive. Because every device need not be connected with every other device, the installation and reconfiguration is very simple. There is less amount of cabling. The system is robust in the sense that if one device fails the link with the central controller, the other devices can communicate properly. There will be easy fault identification and fault isolation also. But the main disadvantage of the star topology is that 
the whole the dependency of the star topology is completely on a one single point and that is a hub and if the hub fails the whole system will be dead the best example of star topology is the lan connections which we make are using the star topology only now let us come to the next topology that is the bus topology the bus uh, to remind you all that i have told you that there are two types of connections we have a point to point connection and the other connection we have is multi point connection we have discussed this in our previous video now a bus to uh, the mesh topology and the star topology which we have discussed have uh, been using point to point connections but whereas in a bus topology we have multi point connections that means i will have a single cable which acts as a backbone will be connecting all the devices in the network now how are these devices connected in a network now you can see the understand the bus topology with the help of a diagram where every station connects to the bus cable with a drop line what is a drop line a drop line is a connection from the device to the cable a ta a tap is a connection which punctures the sheathing of the wire or the cable to make a make contact to the metallic core of the cable and here as a signal travels from one station to the other station it uh, the it pro it produces heat and because of that the uh, the cable gets degraded so we have to see to it that the distance between each tap should be maximum or if more heat uh, if uh, we we have less distance between the taps there will be more heat and due to heat the cable may be broken let us see the advantages and disadvantages of bus topology the advantage is ease of installation that is all the devices only have to make one point connection to the uh, bus cable whereas the disadvantages are difficult reconnection and fault isolation because all of them are connecting to a single cable it is very difficult to identify where the fault has actually occurred a fault or break in the bus cable also will stop the entire transmission and i also told you what will be the reason of a fault or a break because if there is a less gap between the stations it produces more heat and the cable may get destroyed coming on to the next topology that is our ring topology a ring topology is very interesting where we will have point to point links only but each device has dedicated point to point connection only with its two devices on either side of it meaning the one device will have connections point to point connections only to its neighbors on the either sides here the signal in ring topology will travel only in one direction meaning the data transfer is unidirectional now let me explain you about the ring topology with a diagram if i consider this station this station makes a dedicated point to point link to the station on its either side meaning station this station is making a point to point connection to this station and this station and as such all the stations are making a ring now what is the purpose of this repeater the purpose of this repeater is whenever uh, one station sends the data to the other station in a ring in unidirectional uh, manner the the strength of the signal may get degenerated so every station incorporates a repeater and the purpose of a repeater is to regenerate the strength of the signal to its original value the advantages of ring topology are it is easy to install and reconfigure fault isolation is also simplified because one device is connecting to only two devices the main disadvantage is that we cannot have bidirectional data transfer we will only have unidirectional data traffic we can make ring topology uh, more useful by making uh, having two ring cables where i can have uh, bidirectional data transfer finally what i have told you just now about mesh topology star topology bus topology and ring topology they all are the basic topologies now let me tell you about a hybrid topology what is a hybrid topology a hybrid topology is a mix of more than one topology you can see that i am making use of a combination of two topologies here where i have a hub and i have 
my branches connecting the stations where i will have a point to point link to the hub for each branch which is a start topology and in turn i have a bus topology here where i have a single cable and multiple devices are connecting to it so in this example we have star topology as a main topology with each branch connecting several stations using a bus topology so this was about the topic topologies